Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by Spirit of May 1111. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here to do your forecast, love, and finance reading for the sign of Virgo for August 2019. Virgo is an earth sign, so this reading may also resonate for the Taurus or Capricorn as well, because earth is your element. I am a Virgo myself. So it'll be nice to see what's coming out over here in August for us Virgos and earth signs. Um, this will not resonate with every single Virgo out there. So you guys have the option to contact me down below. My information will be listed in the description box if you would like to have a personal private reading booked with me. Okay, um, tarot is timeless here. So these events are um, events that have already taken place in your life, that are currently taking place, or that will take place for you Virgos here in the near future. Okay, um, you are welcome to reverse the genders for my tarot reading because my tarot is gender neutral so your kings can be your queens and vice versa so that that resonates please take it and that that does not leave it for the next viewer okay guys so thanks to everyone who's been liking sharing and subscribing to my channel you guys are so awesome and legit thank you so much guys so without further ado now my lovely virgos i would like to get started with your august 2019 reading here spirit if you will give me some cards for my lovely awesome compatible harmonious sign of virgo for august 2019 what do spirit and the universe see in these cards for some of my virgos out here who are viewing today and cross watchers are always welcome as well hello to you guys don't forget to comment down below. I love your comments and I'm very responsive to comments. So let's get going for you guys. Ooh, we start off with the star card. Hey Virgo. The star card here, that's hope. Um, and it's about restoration, okay? It's about things gonna get better from here on out like really good things with the stars major arcana and um it's also aquarian energy the star is aquarius so you can be dealing with an aquarius there we go okay four of cups six of wands decadence abruption that is the tower moment ten of swords as well as ten of cups so we have four of cups here for you this is about missed opportunities missing your person. Some of you out there are feeling rejected of a missed opportunity that you had something that came your way that you just didn't feel that you were prepared for at the moment or that went over your head um, that you didn't get a chance to take up like a relationship like a person or a situation you didn't act on when you had the chance. This could be your person's energy towards you or your situation. So let's get more into this and find out. Also your four of cups is water energy. That is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for that. Okay Virgo? Six of Wands, Victory. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you can be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign here, Virgo. And um, Six of Wands is about victory. You're right, you're wanting victory, wanting recognition for some of you. Um, you had a win in your favor, you've leveled up, you've had something great come your way with the star energy, of course you did, right? Or it's coming your way and it's gonna be cost to celebrate. It's gonna be reason to celebrate. The Six of Wands could also be marriage. That could be a marriage card. Like, you know, you secure the man, like you have that relationship. Your heart is um, fulfilled and more than that is bursting with passion, with fire, with desire. And you know, that's just that moment that surrounds the beauty of bringing couples together and union and marriage and peace and harmony. And, um, Having accomplished something really awesome and amazing in your life. Congratulations to all you guys for that. Um, decadence, abruption. Um, so in the midst of this great energy that's around you with the star and the six of wands, some of you have had a tower moment come your way. Um, like, I like to say a paradigm shift. Or for some of you, it could have literally been like the universe snatching the rug from under your feet, right? Um, something went down and took place that's going to cause for a reconstruction of your 3D paradigm um, as you see it, your reality. Um, the tower moment comes in when it's about maybe your foundation is fine, 
maybe where you are is fine, but you need to go inside and break down your old thought processes, your old belief systems, and build the new. It's like tearing down an old structure just to build something new, something that's a little more structured, a little more um, well put together, a little more well built is what you need to do. That's like self-maintenance going within. For some of you, it's an um, actual event that has taken place in your life, something that has went down, some shit that has hit the fan, a moment of change, a moment of destruction. But uh, every storm sent your way is not meant to destroy you. Some storms come along to clear your path, Virgo. So whatever the situation is and that you're going through, just know that this tube shall pass. It's building you up to your greatness. You have the star energy here. You start your reading off with the star energy. So you're going great places with your situation, I believe. Um, Ten of Swords, finality. So the Swords are air energy. That is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So something has definitely ended. Your Ten of Swords, the end of Ten is about end. Things coming to a completion. Comes right after your Tower moment. So for some of you, um, that that you've missed, that that you feel like you have an opportunity for, um, you, you're still in that vibrational energy right now. Then you've had your Tower moment um, as a result of this situation. Most likely is what I'm getting it ended the situation is over be it your relationship be it um a job something in your life has ended as a result of this tower moment when the shit hit the fan when it all went down it caused an end here it caused something to be over finality things are over and it's done right and then you have another 10 here that's synchronicity 10 10 um and this is about contentment so with something ending with that ten of swords type of energy you've had that ending okay that bitter ending so then you go right to the Ten of Cups, and that's about contentment. So what's coming your way, that tower moment that came, like I said, that was a storm that was sent to clear your path, not destroy you or take away from you. It's giving you a time to rebuild anew. So you can understand that that you lost was only for a greater good because the star energy and potential was on your side. So you go right into your Ten of Cups type of energy here. Um, Virgo, this is about um, the happy home life. This is about being complete. It's about having a marriage, um, a stable relationship. It can just be finding peace with yourself, um, mending relationships with family members, having hope with the start energy, um, having hope knowing that you're restoring yourself to um, a better place in life than what you've come from. Okay, having had your tower moment, you stay strong and stand in your star power. Find your north star, your inner star. And know that you are among the stars because you are one with the universe. You share universal consciousness with all living things. So that means that you are a co-creator of your life's existence. So just try to stay in a high vibration about the loss and the situation. And know that greatness is coming because the Ten of Cups energy is here for you and you're reading it. It's on your side, Virgo. So I'm going to get clarifying for you, Virgos. For your August 2019 reading for this Ten of Swords energy, the tear as well as the Tower moment, and Four of Cups. So whatever spirit would like to clarify, i like to take them and give you guys your message, okay? Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button, and hit the bell notification if you guys would like to be notified the next time I upload some content over here to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much. Okay, so spirit, we're clarifying for the lovely signs of Virgo for their August 2019 reading. If you will, please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, guys. So you have the moon here. That's Pisces energy. So the moon is about intuition going within Virgo. Um, it's about things being revealed to you. Um, powerful epiphanies. Pay attention to your dreams right now at this point in your life with the moon energy here. But it's about the mystery of going into the unknown. So, you know, with this moon type of energy, you can just be um, going through a phase right now of awakening. You can literally just be having the universe give you signs of synchronicity. Some of you really need to make those dream journals, get them, sleep with them by your bed, and pay attention to your dreams and that that is coming to you because that can be a message from your higher self and your guides and spirit. Here, you have two major arcanas. You have the star and the moon. So you have source trying to get in touch with you, trying to help you awaken to your inner being, your higher self, and your true gifts and purpose in life. Um, 
Nine of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is your energy here, dear Virgo. Um, single, sexy, independent on your game, at the top of your game, and um, you know your self-worth right now, you're in manifestation mode. You are living out that star type of energy um, right now. You're doing your thing, and you're doing a really good job of it. This is about being self-employed uh, for some of you um, entrepreneurs, some of you just really, really hardworking go-getters, works hard for the money, um, get straight to the chase, and just ain't taking no ish from nobody um you show up a certain type of way you look a certain type of way you have a certain type of upkeep and because of that you are the nine of pentacles look at you you beautiful beautiful amazing being you look at you like you are that star you're shining like a star right now you have star energy in your reading for you virgo so you're shining like a star right now keep doing your thing congratulations congratulations that's what's up um five of cups here so for some of you you know it's like You've had a loss, but not all is lost. That that you've lost, those that have walked out of your life or the situations that didn't serve you, the only three cups are spilled out of the five. So those two cups that are behind you that you are not even paying attention to right now, you don't even know that they're there. It's like once you come out of this low vibrational energy of this five of cups, find your way back to the path that you know so well. Find your way back to your inner being, your North Star, become one with the stars, vibrate, meditate, do what you need to do to raise your frequency, to vibrate on a high frequency, and know that those two cups stand as your reserves. Get them, pick them up, shake off that that you lost, that that you can't recover, and take the two that you have, and go and build and manifest off of that, because in your Nine of Pentacles energy, that's exactly what you do so well. You do it very, very well. You're a creator, a manifester, you're ambitious, and you get straight to it and king of cups water energy is your last clarifying card here that's cancer scorpio pisces and your king of cups is someone who loves you this could be your energy kings could be queens and vice versa right so it's just about a very loving caring person probably someone who works in the healthcare field obsessive with their own self and emotions because what the king or queen of cups puts out there you never feel like you always get that back from people um this is someone who gives time to charity who's very loving will make a great provider a great mother a great father a great nurturer a great caretaker a great provider so again your king of cubs is someone who works in the healthcare field and uh, probably mental health or physical health in your person is showing up because they are in love with you you have your king of cups energy here for some of you you are literally dealing with the water sign that his energy is just showing up and is there for you like you're feeling like you're at a loss, like you're in a dark place. And some of you are depressed. Some of you are suffering from depression right now and very, very low vibrations that are just not serving you right now. Okay, with that four of cups type of energy, with that five of cups, some of you are in low vibrations and are depressed and just are not feeling yourself because of the loss that's taken place. Uh, I'm going to get more magical mermaids and dolphins clarifiers. For some of you, you really, really need this um not extended. I don't have an extended for this one, but you really are going to need um, that personal private reading to get, you know, the benefit of your full full message here. There's so much more to be said for some of you. I feel that drawn. I never say that in my videos. I do feel that for this reading for some of you. Those four or five, it's like calling my name. I feel like I'm in that picture with that image, with that card. And that's weird for me because I don't feel that. That's just telling me that somebody out there needs their message. You need to book that personal private reading. And, and let's see where this goes for some of you guys with these beautiful creatures over here. I mean, I'm using the beautiful creatures tarot deck by J.R. Rivera. So, Spirit, if you will, give me some clarifying cards for my lovely, awesome sign of Virgo for August 2019. And I'm using the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck for all you guys out there who would like to know what oracle deck i'm using okay so let's get right into this for you guys pull a couple of these cards and close your reading up so we have a new dawn the worst is now behind you uh, and positive new experiences are on the horizon see i told you that storm is just came to clear your path that ten of swords yes there was an ending yes it hurt but you have ten of cups coming right behind that bow you go from the tower to the ten of swords 
the finality, right to the contentment of that Ten of Cups. So, like I said, this too shall pass, honey. You have so much greatness coming. Just stay in those high vibrations. Try to raise your vibrations and accept it. Open up and let the universe bring that in. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> My sun sign is a Virgo. And this really, some of this really resonates so much for me. So, that's what's up. <laughs> Divine magic. <laughs> Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Hey, expect miracles, okay? With that star card. I'm loving this reading so much because I too am a Virgo. So let's get us Virgos and Romance Angels card just because, you know, why not? <laughs> so spirit and lovely Romance Angels. If you will, please let me get one Romance Angels card for my lovely, lovely signs of Virgo. For the August 2019 reading. Thank you so much. So, let's see. One card, that's it. Honeymoon. Ooh. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, with your person, your King of Cups, this could be leading to a marriage for some of you Virgos or just that time apart, that honeymoon phase in your situation, like being so in love because your King of Cups is a loving person, but this person is so in love with you. His energy showed up and just plotted itself. They're like, bloop, like, don't forget about me. Like your person wants to be known in your life and in your connection. For some of you who that is and how it ties in for you, what I'm seeing more here in your reading is to work on yourself, on your inner self, raise your vibration and allow the universe to work on you and through you with everything that you've been through and take your lessons along with your blessings and make the most of it. That's what I'm getting for you, Virgos. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Namaste.